Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 20th, 2020. Hey guys, I just want to uh, apologize that uh, there's been a little bit of hit and miss in the morning prep videos here the last couple of weeks. Um, it's just due to a health issue that I've been dealing with, and I just want to let everyone know that um, it is a temporary thing. Um, I'm feeling much better, much better. And after a massive battery of tests, we found out that there's there's nothing really wrong. No, uh, no cancer, no things like that that um, I have to worry about. Just a recovery. I had just kind of worked myself into a serious infection and had worn myself out. Um, so I've got to make some lifestyle changes, but I just wanted to let everyone know that um, everything is fine. Every um, I'm I'm good to go, and we'll get back to a normal routine here in the morning market prep video. So with that, let's settle in. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the morning market prep. So yesterday we had kind of an interesting thing going on in the market. I was watching this. Um, all day long from my phone, just really resting, getting over some anesthetic and things like that from all the testing. But um, we saw the markets rally um, strongly in the morning and we set some new records. Apple briefly reached out and became a $2 trillion market cap company before pulling back. And then those bears came in after the FOMC come out and used the terms economic uncertainty. Now, to me, I almost chuckled. Be, well, not almost. I actually chuckled because I've been using the terms economic uncertainty for some time. And um, honestly, kind of find it surprising that that, um, that woke up the bears. I was like, really? Um, how, how, how much um, economic uncertainty can we stand with companies, um, unemployment, and all the struggle that we've had here due to coronavirus and the pandemic. It's as if we were trying to ignore it completely. But that woke up the bears. Now, whether it wakes them up in a significant way, if um, they really come roaring back, I don't know, but I got to tell you, at least at the moment, when we look at the technicals of the chart, there's nothing wrong here. You can see we're consolidating. And if you take, take the time, I'm going to go to the Dow here for just a second and point out that after significant market rallies, it's pretty common. Notice we get these significant market rallies. We rest a while. We go into consolidating periods. Um, it, it's really not uncommon after a, a, a rally um, like this that we rest a little while in the market. And I suspect that's what we're going to see. We know FOMC is going to continue to pump funds into the market. And we know eventually Congress will get its act together and provide some stimulus, which was also called for from the FOMC. That's going to put more pressure on on Congress to you know get their job done and so they're gonna provide more economic stimulus to the market here eventually so whether the bears can actually get anything major going I'm not really sure of what we do want to pay attention to is support levels in the chart so first off we have a support level here and a pullback into here is nothing more than a resting consolidation it's possible we could just bounce around in here move all the way over to the trend which gives us a week or two of maybe light consolidating move a little bit of bearishness coming into the market before we find that next wave of buying however we do have or run that possibility that we break this level of support and we actually pull back to the trend which shouldn't be a surprise either if we pull back and test a trend that's the sign of a healthy market pulling back testing trend holding it as support that's healthy so let's not panic just yet that the sky is falling and let's keep in mind that it's not uncommon for the markets to rest a while or pull back so that we can just test that 50-day moving average so 
we are way ahead of our 50 day moving average and i've been mentioning that for some time that we may just need a little bit of time for the market to uh, to allow for that 50 day moving average to catch up and a little support coming in from those averages so not a major surprise and we shouldn't be running around like chicken little saying the sky is falling just yet because we have no technical damage in the chart we are however very extended and it shouldn't be any surprise that after such a long historic rally that that extension brings out a little bit of profit taking. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY, new record highs, um, so it joins the club with um, the NASDAQ. For those new records, we still have a strong trend here. And overall, if we look back, this trend has been tremendous. And if we draw it off of here, a little bit of rest or pullback in this chart is not out of the question. Now, after breaking through up here, hitting that new record high, it's pretty common that we find a little resistance, that there could be a little bit of selling that comes in here. But once again, a rest, a consolidation over here to trend, or even a little pullback that comes into this last level of support is not um, uh, an indication that the sky is falling. It could be a little bit painful because we've so extended this market that it could be some big potential moves to the downside, but over overall, nothing technically wrong in the chart. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ also extremely strong, and um, this bullish trend just uh, uh, relentless to the nth degree. Um, as you can see, pullbacks to test support levels would not be out of the question. And if we have to consolidate a little bit longer, uh, just so that that 50 day moving average can actually catch up and provide some support, shouldn't be a major surprise. So at least at this point, the sky is not falling. Technically, we're holding up. IWM, IWM rallying into some price resistance shouldn't be a surprise. We're hitting some resistance levels in the chart, but trend is still very, very strong in this chart and a little more consolidation or rest seems likely. And even if we were to pull back and test some of these support levels, it's not exactly, uh, you know, the world coming to an end. In fact, it would be healthy for the market to do that. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now, here's where we're going to have to watch pretty closely. We can see the VIX holding on to that 50-day moving average. And I mentioned before that we've had this potential of complacency um, even at these high levels, just that little bit of bullish complacency where we've been, we've been running, running, running as if there was no problems in the market whatsoever. But clearly we still have some issues to deal with. So what we'll want to watch in here is we'll want to watch and see if we spike above the downtrend in this chart. Um, that's not going to be a problem. What will be a problem is if we hold it as support and then see a further extension to the upside. That's where the real sellers always come into the market. We can see it right over here when we began this um, ugly move in January. We spiked up, pulled back, held the downtrend as support, and that's where the real fear came into the market. Could be the same case here if um, the, the fear really creeps up, but let's also notice we have significant levels of resistance in price and moving averages up in here. So even if we do pop up into this area, it would not be out of the question to see us pull that all the way back. So keep that in mind, even though there's a little bit of fear creeping around out there, at least at this point, it's not too bad. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Now I've mentioned over and over and over how this has been showing that overextension in the market. And we finally had that little bit of wave of pullback and look how far it pulled us back yesterday. So this morning's um, little bit of gap down in here could bring us back down into this area pretty quickly. We could end up in the bullish reversal zone 
quite quickly um, in this move. That means a test of support, maybe a bounce. We'll have to wait and see. A little bit of profit taking, but I don't see any major damage here. And this has been overdue for some time. So let's take a breath. Let's not run for the doors. Let's watch our positions very closely and realize that a little rest in the market has been needed for some time. Let's take a look at uh, T2101. Now T2101, we do have to watch this closely. T2101 can rise, this is the absolute market breadth, if the market breadth of the market really starts to see an increase in selling, we'll see that spike up finally breaking that downtrend here. But we don't want to be um, on that side of bearishness here when that market breadth comes back. So let's watch that closely. If that really starts to surge, we could see those bears really waking up and providing a little bit of pressure in the market. Um, and that could add a little bit of an additional challenge for a period of time. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we do have some things that we want to pay attention to this morning on that calendar. First off, we need to take a look, duck on it. We need to take a look at, um, there we go. We need to take a look at, um, these jobless claims this morning. Now, right now, consensus is suggesting an improvement in those jobless claims um, for today. So at 8.30 this morning, we could get good news on the market. Let's watch that closely. Obviously, unemployment has been pretty challenging here for the market, and largely the, we've been able to ignore it. So um, if we get an improvement there, I don't see that as likely hurting the market. We also want to pay attention to Philly Fed index, but I don't expect uh, this one to actually show anything terrible either. So just pay attention to those um, as they come out. They can move the market around. Remember, we got some Fed speakers still out here um, talking a natural gas report and we do have a fed balance sheet this afternoon but not likely to move the market around much keep in mind that on friday we have pmi composite existing homes sales that can certainly move the market around so just be aware of that as you prepare for the day ahead once we start reaching the close of today let's take a look at um our earnings calendar. In our earnings calendar, we've got a few things that we want to pay attention to there. Earnings obviously have been starting to wind down here the earnings season, but we still have some notable reports out there. We have about 32 companies reporting earnings today, and companies we'll want to be paying attention to today would be BABA. BABA will be reporting today. As you can see right now, it's looking for a slight gap up this morning, so keep an eye on that. This has been holding in a pretty interesting pattern. Remember, Chinese companies are under some pressure uh, from the U.S. government to um, start following a accounting guidelines for the U.S. And, and those kind of things, which could, you know, bring a little bit of pressure um, into these stocks. And we'll just want to um, stay on top of that um, as we move forward. But probably um, nothing in here that's going to affect overall market, at least at the moment. Let's take a look. Uh, BJ. BJ's Wholesale, they are also reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We've got Estee Lauder reporting today. It looks like they are gapping lower this morning. You can see the bid-ass spread. By the way, TC2000, if you're not familiar with it, I can see the actual morning bid-ass spread here with these little triangles. And um, so we're gapping down this morning on Estee Lauder. Apparently, the report was not what uh, market was hoping for. Uh, GFI, GFI will be reporting today. Um, MLCO, we're going to get um, a report on this today. So keep an eye. Resorts and casinos have been trying to recover, um, but let's keep an eye on that when it reports. And roast, roast stores. Um, the old Ross stores um, will be reporting today. We've been seeing some pretty good results in. Um, some retail so you can see Ross stores um, looking to open maybe just a tiny bit higher than their close I'm not sure if they reported just yet so keep a close eye on that let's take a look at 
um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And hopefully you've seen in these videos that I really avoid the hype, the drama, all of the uh, prediction of the market. And I really look at and focus in on the technicals of the chart. And I can tell you guys that that has served me well in my more than 15 years trading full time in the market. If you find that helpful, if you could also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, I truly appreciate it. It helps us continue to grow the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. And thank you for sticking with me, um, even though there's been a little bit of interruption here due to my health um, let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks setting up and remember that every time I bring up one of these stocks it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security it is merely a um, uh, continuation of the education that I provide and if you um, look at one of these stocks and and uh, have some interest in it, make sure you do your own due diligence, planning your trading carefully based on your needs for trading. Let's take a look. Um, GLD had a pretty rough day yesterday pulling back. Now, one of the things that I've been paying attention here, I, I think as we continue to print currency the way we have, um, I'm kind of surprised that we got such a strong move yesterday on that pullback. What this does constitute though, is it constitutes a potential lower high in that chart. Well, we're gonna wanna watch this carefully. If this can hold some support in here, this could still set up that opportunity to the upside. But now with that lower high here, it adds an additional complication. So I've been talking about gold quite a lot. Just wanna mention there is a complication here that we're gonna wanna pay close attention to um, in that chart. So watch that carefully. Um, charts like Johnson & Johnson, J&J &J holding up quite well. Um, you know, they've got um, all of these funds from the federal government to produce some drugs and or vaccine. And as you can see, um, holding in here pretty well. We've kind of slid over to the trend. We're kind of bouncing around in here. We're dealing with resistance. I think there's still reason to be keeping an eye on J&J. &J. And I think overall there's reason to be paying attention to some conservative sector stocks, even though we saw like Coke pulling back yesterday and all those, we may get more of a pullback, but some of those conservative or consumer defensive stocks, we may want to pay attention to for a little bit of a safety play. Let's take a look at KLAC. KLAC, I've mentioned a few times, still holding in this trend, although we're pulling back. Notice we're pulling back to a support and trend. Let's watch this in here for that opportunity for those bulls to step in and push that up. Really nice looking chart. Uh, keep an eye on KLAC. SWKS is also one of those stocks we might want to keep an eye on, but we do have a little bit of a further complication in this chart. And we've tested this level up here now three times and unable to break through. Let's watch that carefully. If this were to break down and hold resistance, we have a short pattern that would set up. But if we can hold this support level in here, those bulls may step back in here, holding on to this overall trend and pushing that stock back higher. So let's keep an eye on that. Could go either direction in that chart. I've been keeping a pretty close eye on Disney and actually picked up a position in Disney a while back. Um, watching this, um, if this pulls back and holds support, we're in good shape. Let's watch that in here. Nothing wrong with this chart yet, as long as we can hang on to that support. Can, any consolidation or rest in here is not that big a deal. We'll want to watch and see for that next opportunity to the upside in Disney. You guys might want to take a look at some things like utilities. Utilities are a safe haven play. If we do go into a little bit of a bearish pattern here in the market, we might want to look at some utilities. We might want to look at some of the consumer staples in the market. As you can see, that's been holding a nice trend, although we did get a pullback yesterday. 
yesterday, holding that nice trend, those consumer staples, things that we're always going to need, even in a market pullback, might be something to pay attention to overall. Um, be a little bit careful. We may start seeing a little bit of a rotation out of some of the techs. Um, obviously, they have been on a tear this year. They have been up extremely strongly, but we could see some of these techs also pulling back. And if we get some selling in that NASDAQ sector, we could just get a little overall pressure to the market. So keep a close eye on those. Still want to point out stocks like FDX. FDX holding up very, very strong. As you can see, we've moved up strongly here in FDX. This resting consolidation in here may require a long move like we did right in here. That consolidating move over to trend, but let's keep FDX on the list for a possible trade. Um, obviously, um, coronavirus has pushed a lot of folks into buying online and I expect these shippers to continue to show um, really good signs so keep an eye on stocks like FDX and UPS um, certainly a good opportunity plays here in the market so with that everyone I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to let everyone in RWO right way options know that um, I'm going to be Taking it kind of slow and steady on my recovery here, um, not trying to push things too hard, but I will be back um, uh, doing uh, normal room um, operations. So um, I'll fill you guys in um, just as soon as the market opens. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. I wish you tons and tons of su success. And just kind of remember, stay calm, stay pause, look at the uh, uh, calm, stay positive um, focus on those technicals in the charts try not to trade emotionally and um, let's just prepare for another great day in the market y'all take care i wish you all the best stay safe and we'll talk to you all very soon bright and early friday morning have a great day